Hello everyone, my name is Hugh Wallace and I'm a teacher of maths at Kyle Academy in South Ayrshire. For the past sort of year since last March, I've been supporting the, the staff, the students and the parents with remote learning. Uh, I've been the digital champion in the school and I'm also a, an MIE expert, an MIE trainer, uh, enthusiastic member of Team MIEE Scotland. Um, Obviously, you know, working from home is a very different experience, but I'm very lucky. I thought it's useful just to mention some of the equipment that I've got here. Uh, I do have, you know, a Windows PC uh, and a second screen, but I've actually also got my Microsoft uh, Surface Pro, which has been just absolutely amazing. And I'm so grateful to have that um, to support sort of remote learning and delivery of lessons, live lessons, but also um, for, for recording different pieces and certainly for using um, OneNote particularly has been just a great tool. I'm going to do a couple of different things just to uh, give you an overview of what I've been doing with the first year maths and also in comparison what I've been doing with the higher maths. Um, but before I do that I will give you just a wee kind of an overview of certainly um, some of the things that have worked for us and what we've learned at Kyle Academy. My first point really here is about keeping it simple. You want to try and make your instructions and set your tasks in such a way that there's no ambiguity. You want it to be crystal clear and very easy for students and both their parents to find if the parents are supporting. Um, definitely most important. Next after that, I would be realistic. Try to be realistic about the tasks that you're setting to students. You don't necessarily want to set something that's going to take longer than the time you've set, been allocated. So if you've been allocated a 45 minute session each day, you want to be able to say that the students can comfortably complete that task in that time. Sometimes just less is more. Students really appreciate structure. So if you can provide a structure that you stick to, over the course of the same routine every single week, then they really like that. So if you're having a mixture of live lessons or drop-in sessions or independent study, try to set that from the start and then you know that you can fall into that routine and students will, it will be clearer for them to follow. They do appreciate that. I've also got here to adopt a consistent approach across the school. So for that, that may well just be the way that you set up your teams. If all your teams in the school could be set up in the same way, for me, the most important thing has been to have a general channel where important announcements are set, tasks are set and assignments are set. And students would not be able to uh, post or reply to any comments in that channel. I would also have a channel which is called ask your teacher or ask a question and I usually have a, an emoji symbol with a raised hand so it could be for example ask Mr Wallace and then finally I would always have uh, a, the wee laptop emoji next to the online classroom to set out that that's where any of your meetings your live lessons will be hosted and then you can add a couple of more a uh, sort of a uh, channels after that but you want to have this consistent approach it's the same thing happening in each of the subjects because that's one piece of criticism I'm sure most schools have had is that all their teachers are doing different things. Next I do really strongly encourage live interactions and I know there's been different advice given for that but it definitely improves engagement. Now whether you see live interaction as live delivery, teaching a lesson to a group of students or whether you just have an opportunity for students to drop in and to ask questions but if they can actually see you and speak to you then that is definitely going to help your engagement with learning. Also, in a similar way, it works really well. A live in interaction could simply just be sending out a video where they see you and they hear you rather than watching a YouTube clip that you've shared. And finally, for me in maths, OneNote and Class Notebook really is the way to go. And not just for remote learning, but for the future and for going ahead with this, you know, how much this could actually improve our teaching and learning experience, even once we're back in the classroom. So that's really it for me. Um, I'm now going to have a wee look at some separate uh, scenarios from our first year classes and our higher maths classes. 
If you have any if you have any questions, don't hesitate to get in touch. You can contact me through Glow or Teams with my Glow email address, Glow username, or I'm also on Twitter. And the details are there.